Welcome back. Great to have you with us on SABC News. An explosive new book claims that former President Jacob Zuma was directly involved in the creation of the controversial Gupta-linked news channel, ANN7. In the tell-all book, indentured behind the scenes at Gupta TV, senior journalist Rajesh Sundaram claims Zuma even shaped policies. Sundaram is a former editor with the channel that now faces closure after DSTV failed to renew its contract. We're having uh, some troubles with our Skype, uh, but I believe that he joins us on the line now from Chennai, India. Uh, Mr. Sundaram, ah, there we have you on uh, Skype. Just, just tell me, the former president not only involved in policies, but even, uh, according to you, suggesting the name of the channel. Uh, that is correct, because uh, in the very first thing, uh, I do remember uh, going to meet him and uh, Mr. Ajay Gupta told him, uh, you must excuse me when I adjust this. Yes. Uh, so the, the very first meeting where uh, Mr. Uh, Ajay Gupta told me that, you know, told the president that as per his wishes, the channel had been named uh, ANN7 and he very proudly showed him the logo. Uh, they said that they had put a 7 at the end because uh, the name ANN7, uh, the Africa News Network, had already been taken. So they put a 7 for trademark purposes. Uh, so yes, uh, the, the channel was uh, named by President Zuba. Apparently he said to you, we want to keep the president happy. So, so that means this was never uh, going to be a channel that even reached towards uh, free and, and fair news coverage at all. Uh, I beg your pardon, could you please uh, repeat that question? I'm saying, uh, apparently, Ajay Gupta said to you, we want to keep the president happy. Okay, so, so we'll take the name that he suggested. So what I'm saying is that means this could never have been uh, a neutral channel in terms of news at all. Uh, absolutely, because I think uh, from the very onset, they were very clear that this would be a station that would be used for, uh, uh, for propaganda. Uh, not just uh, not just for the ANC, but for for, for the, the very close group uh, around uh, President Zuma. And every time, you know, I, I had gone uh, to President Zuma for three presentations uh, with the Gupta brothers. Uh, it was always asking him for feedback, uh, and then taking back the feedback that that, that he had given and uh, and trying to ex execute uh, those issues. Also, uh, taking tips from him. You know, he he would also guide on editorial policy. Uh, he, he would talk about how this should not be an out and out propaganda station, that it should, uh, you know, practice certain subtleties. For instance, uh, the, the his rivals within and outside the ANC should not be blacked out as such, but, but they should be shown in light, uh, which, which, which is, which is uh, not very flattering. Uh, so he, he wanted uh, to have, uh, to set up a station that would pro uh, a, a, a channel that, that would help propagate uh, his uh, political narrative but he also wanted it not to do it in a very direct fashion but in a subtle fashion staggering uh, claims so that means the the former president wanted to make sure that his political enemies even looked bad on on tv uh, mzwanele manye uh, apparently also you say appointed at the former president's uh, request uh, he is now the owner of ann7 but i guess this will add to the belief that that sale was never uh, representative of a complete withdrawal of the guptas at all uh, well, I have been away from South Africa for about five years, and I, you know, I have read in the papers that that he has now taken on ownership. But uh, he was somebody who was very close uh, to the Gupta brothers. He was also very close to uh, President Zuma. Uh, I remember uh, in one of the meetings, President Zuma had actually recommended uh, that he be hired as one of the uh, anchors for the station. He failed miserably uh, when he had come in uh, for an audition. Uh, but that's besides the point. He, he, he was hired on for the show anyways. Uh, I would think uh, from from what I know from, from the time that I worked there, that he was somebody uh, who was known as a spin doctor for the government. He was somebody who had the trust of the Gupta uh, brothers. I remember Atul Gupta having told me once that uh, he was very close to his youngest brother, uh, Rajesh uh, Tony Gupta, and that uh, he looked on uh, to, to Jimmy Maini as, as his own brother. Mr. So Sundaram, uh, you left the channel in 2013. You've cited unfair labor practices. Are you not a disgruntled uh, former employee making incredible claims? Uh, but if, if I understood the 
the question correctly, it's uh, about the, the, the labor conditions. Well, yes, uh, see, there were a lot of Indian laborers uh, who, were, who were brought in to build the studios in the sense, uh, you know, put the structure together, the, the, the brick and mortar kind of work. Most of them were not paid in South Africa. They were just brought in here. They worked, they toiled, they stayed in the, uh, in, in the on the premises, on the site, subhuman conditions. They, they, they had to go, uh, you know, the, the food that they ate was cooked there on the site. Uh, there was uh, very basic facilities that were given to them and they were paid, uh, their families were paid in India, they were not paid anything uh, that were there. Uh, also, uh, you know, closer to the launch, there was a huge, uh, a lot of Indian employees who had come in. Uh, some of them, uh, most of them had come in on tourist visas. They worked there for a reasonable period of time. Uh, I did raise this issue with with, with both the shareholders at that time, uh, Mr. Gupta as well as uh, Mr. Lakshmi Goyal, and they said that, you know, that's nothing to worry about. It was a violation of the law, but they had the government uh, in their pockets. So they, they, nobody really need to, uh, needed to bother about it. And I can tell you at least uh, a dozen uh, people who came in at that time who were on tourist visas, who were not on the uh, on, on the visas that were required and, and they were working there. I did uh, uh, put a formal complaint about this on my return uh, to India, but no action was taken for so many years. My question to you was, uh, are you not a disgruntled former employee making claims to retaliate against your former bosses? Uh, I, I beg your pardon? I'm saying, are you not a disgruntled former employee with a, uh, an axe to grind against your bosses? Uh, well, I, I would say not because see, it, it has been about it, it has been about five years since I quit A N N Seven. I have moved on. I have uh, you know set up three more stations after that. You know, this, the, the station that I'm working at right now is the third station that, that I've set up. I have no axe to grind with them. I. I believe that I was conned into coming in and setting up a station for, you know, the mafia in South Africa without knowing it. When I came into the project, I did not know who the Gupta brothers were. I did not know they were breaking all these laws. And I had to come out because, you know, I, I did not want to be part of that. And I wrote this book five years ago because I wanted to tell the people of South Africa that here is... A, you know, a pillar of democracy, a media channel, a, a, a news channel, which was in the wrong hands, and they, they should be careful about it. My intention of, about, of, of writing this book was no other uh, purpose but to tell the South African people the circumstances in which this station was set up, the reasons why uh, the owners set this up, the kind of nexus they had with the with, 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 with the ruling dispensation, and if, if they had. If, they knew all those things and they watched the, the station, there would be the regular scrutiny which I, I thought was necessary. Uh, finally, let's end with this. Uh, you've uh, received some opposition, I understand, to the book being published. Just, just tell us about the journey to get this book published. Of course, there were differences that I had with them. They had my hotel room burgled. They tried to steal my passport. Uh, they had me chased by their bodyguards. I had to virtually uh, run for my life out of South Africa. But, but having said that, those are things that are part of the book. But the reason that I wrote the book is not because I'm a disgruntled employee, because I wanted to bring the larger issues to light. All right. Thank you very much. I don't think you uh, heard my final question there, but uh, a very a comprehensive uh, overview of why he published this book and, and saying he's not a disgruntled employee, a former ANN7 editor and now author, Rajesh Sundaram.